gonna show you guys how to do three things. Crumble, basically you could do that for strawberry crumble, apple crumble, any kind of crumble you want. You could put your crumble on top of a uh, chia seed uh, pudding or whatever you're going to do. I'm gonna teach you how to do it well. Simple uh, crumble recipe. And then I'm going to show you how to translate that into making a tart base, tart base for anything. You could do like, uh, you know, if you're going to do cheesecake or if you're going to do a little tartlet, whatever you're going to do, I'm going to teach you how to do that as well. And I'm going to teach you how to translate that tart into savory tarts. Really, really simple recipe. First, I'm going to show you how to do cashew flour. Basically, with cashew flour, I'm going to use one cup, say about one cup, be about that much, one cup. Use a proper measuring jug. Done this enough times to know. Now, the, the simple rule here is that if you've got a Vitamix, I need to show you how to use this Vitamix. Vitamix has got a slow processor and it's got a turbo. And then it's got this little knob here where we can control it. You don't need to worry about this. The thing here is that if you're using really raw cashews, like the ones at Loving Earth, they haven't been processed or no steam or water has come anywhere near it. Which it means that all the oil is simply sitting there naturally formed. They haven't been manipulated. So when we are going to blend them at a higher speed in a short amount of time, the, the cashew is gently going to turn into flour without the oil coming out at any form or shape. Watch this. Short amount of time. And then basically all you have to do, get your fingers in there, make sure they're clean, but just, just separate it, see? I'm just separating it. That's it, nice and airy, all separated. Check it about, put it back in here. Now this time, make sure that this is on high, the turbo is on high, and then you're pressing, you're turning it on. That's it, it's done. No more than that. Then you need a nice sort of a, uh, a nice sort of colander is what I like to call. This is between a sieve and a colander. So a colander or a sieve, whatever you like to call it, a bowl. I'm going to put this directly in here. Just throw it all here. Beautiful. There we go. And then, oh look at this. You know, this is exactly what I'm looking for. This consistency, aerated cashew flour. You can basically do this with any other nut as well. Most nuts. Okay, once this is done, now you're gonna have some crumbles like this left over. Forget about it. You can use it. You just have to put it back in the blender. Put it back in here. Have patience. Because the difference here is that when you pay attention to detail, the food's gonna come out looking beautiful. There we go, in there, no time wasted. There is a difference, you know there are a lot of Italian restaurants around, especially where I live, but there's a difference between the good ones and the bad ones. The good ones, all they're doing, just give some love to their food. Okay, that's done. So basically, here we go. So here it is. I'm happy with that. Aerated cashew flour, beautiful. And now, what I'm going to do with this, is I'm going to turn it into a, cr into a crumble. The secret here, lacuma or mesquite powder. Just one tablespoon should do the trick. Mix it around, and I'm going to add one tablespoon of water. That's all you need. Just one tablespoon of water, and a pinch of salt. Just a pinch of salt. You're done. Now use your loving hands. Have patience, they will come through. You know, you just have to trust the recipe. That's what you have to do. Look at it. It's coming together. It's just going to turn into a beautiful dough. So remember, a cup of cashew flour, one tablespoon of water and a pinch of salt with one tablespoon of mesquite or lacuma powder. You've got yourself a beautiful crumble recipe. And you basically put it in a dehydrator for about six hours, and you get it out, let it cool down. Because what happens with mesquite and lacuma is that this thing, 
the oil of, of, the, of the product comes out while they're in a dehydrator. They're very sensitive to heat. And then when you leave them out and they cool, they, uh, they become nice and hard. So perfect for crumble sort of consistency that we were we're trying to achieve here. So look, I've got this. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add some uh, coconut flour here. You could easily just buy loving earth desiccated coconut, put it in a blender, same thing as I've done here, and then you've got this beautiful consistency. And just, just rub it around. And now we're going to work with this. I'm going to cut it into four. Look, perfect dough. Look at that. Amazing. Aerated, nice and light. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a mold. Now you're going to tell me, well since I'm going to crumble this at the end of the, you know, at the end of the result, why should I need to put in one of these molds and waste my time? The, t the thing here is consistency. And because we want the middle part of the crumble to be slightly moist, so we get that beautiful contrast. Now, the best thing about doing it on a wooden board, on some coconut flour, is that we're going to put this directly over the mesh and then dehydrate it. Yeah, we don't want to put it over a Teflon sheet or cooking paper or anything like that because I want it, you know, I want that sort of dry heat, that dehydrator to dehydrate it consistently. Here we go, look at that, beautiful. And now, with a, with a palette knife, I'm going to scrape it And I'm going to put it on this tray here. See, this, some I've done before. Look at this. Yeah. Beautiful. Look at that. That's one chef. There's another one coming for you. Now, you just want it nice and flat. Done. Scrape it off. That's two. Now, what you're going to do to change that, to translate that into a tart where it's not crumbly, you just need to add one tablespoon of flax meal. This stuff here. And that's it. One tablespoon of flax meal with half a teaspoon, tablespoon extra water. So that's one cup of cashew flour or any other type of flour that you like to add. Tablespoon of mesquite or lacuma. One tablespoon of flax meal, one and a half tablespoon of water. If you want to have a tart mix. And that's it. And then to translate that into savory, just add a bit of garlic, a bit of salt, a bit of garlic, a bit of ginger, whatever type of savory you're going to do. Whether it's going to be for tart, whether it's going to be for quiche, Easy, really, really easy. And then you put it in the dehydrator. Now I use these rings. These rings come in one of these packets, right? Look at that, so one of these packets. It's a fantastic way to work it easily. You can select from whatever size you want and you can pick one of these up for about $8. Chef's, chef's shop or any one of those shops. And basically that's us. I'm going to show you There you go, crumble. Yeah? Once it's, you allow it to dry, look at this. Look at that, beautiful crumble. You can put that on top of your strawberry jam that we've done, or an orange marmalade with a bit of French vanilla ice cream, or coconut based yogurt. Seriously, life can't get better than this. I'm sharing all my secrets here. And then, if you added your flax meal, this is what you're gonna get. You can pimp this up with some, you know, raw cream cheese or with some salad, or you could uh, make a nice little cheese filling, put it in there, turn it into a quiche, tart, whatever you fancy. Or if it's going to be a sweet based, what you could do is put in some nice coconut, acai coconut based yogurt in here, with some fresh blueberries on top, and a bit of infused vanilla and coconut sugar on top of that. Enjoy.